Hey, what's up YouTube? How's it going? So there's one phrase that I have heard many times and that is it's all in your head. Now with POTS patients, the journey to get a diagnosis is full of it's all in your head. So what does that mean? So with POTS, you have such a variety of symptoms and you could basically fall in the category of many different illnesses, um, mono, I was told for a while that they thought it was diabetes, and it is quite the journey. And doctors, when they can't figure out what exactly is wrong, and you have things that don't make sense to them, unfortunately, they'll go to telling you that it's in your head. This is your fault. You're doing this to yourself. And that's a really hard thing to hear, especially when you hear it multiple different times. And so how does that affect you mentally? Um, what does that make you feel like? What do you think about that? And that's something that I don't really talk about but I figured I should share this for those of you out there who maybe have experienced the same thing. So I remember the first time that I was told that this was in my head, that there wasn't anything wrong. And it really makes you stop and think. I would sit and think all the time, is this actually happening? Is this symptom true? If I concentrate hard enough, does it go away? If I change what I eat, change what I do, will that fix it? You know, I had so many questions running in my head because what I thought was going on, I now questioned if this was actually happening, if this was true, and that's really hard. And it can come to the point where you wonder if it's worth, you know, continually, continuing to fight for answers, fight for someone to hear you out. And that's the struggle I had for a good three years, is contemplating, should I keep fighting to find answers? Or should I accept that all these doctors are saying that this is my fault? And that's not only hard on me as the patient, but the family as well. Because it's not just you living it, it's them seeing it. So they watch you go through all this, and when a doctor tells them also that they think that this is just in my head, it makes them wonder too. And I definitely have to thank my family for continuing to push me to fight harder. You know, it's okay. So this doctor can't help. Who else? Let's try someone else. Let's find another doctor. So uh, again, I think I probably did that for about three years. And that's when I got a working diagnosis. So a uh, working diagnosis is frustrating also. So it's a doctor telling you, well, I think this is it, but I can't really help you. You know, I think this is POTS, but I don't think I can help you, or I don't know what I can do to help you. So that was, that was a real tough, I guess, answer to get from a doctor. Like, well, I think this is what you have, but, you know, there's not much I can do from you. And this doctor actually suggested that I get a wheelchair and that my life from now on would be in a wheelchair. That I would not be able to walk. I would not be able to have a job. You know, I wouldn't be able to have a life that I always dreamed of. So, um, after getting this answer, diagnosis, whatever you want to call it, I took to the internet to research. And that's when I stumbled upon Dr. Blair Grubb of Toledo, Ohio. He 
has seen patients from all over who suffer from dis different forms of dysautonomia. So dysautonomia is like the big brother term for um, syndromes that affect your autonomic nervous system. So POTS is one, there's um, many different other ones, I'll get into that in another video. Um, so after finding Dr. Grubb, it now came the task of, okay, how am I going to get from Alberta, Canada to Toledo, Ohio? Now with POTS, um, my body has the hard enough time of adjusting to elevation that we figured flying was not an option for me. So that now came down to driving or a train. The train we figured would be pretty easy, chillax, no one would have to drive, but I couldn't just stop the train when I wanted to, of course. So that's when we were like, okay, we're gonna make a road trip. Now, it's pretty crazy that we decided to drive from Alberta, Canada to Toledo, Ohio, which took us five days of driving um, because I could only do so many hours of driving a day. And it was pretty cool. Even though I was going into a very unknown situation, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if this was gonna be helpful but we got in the truck and away we went. And I saw many parts of the states that, you know, I didn't think I'd get to see, and which was really cool and quite the experience. So I got to Toledo, Ohio, and I got called in to see Grub, and my nerves were insane. I was all jittery, I was so, so nervous, and I never get nervous, and then all of a sudden this guy comes in the door and shakes my hand and says, hi, I'm Dr. Grubb, and you know, the whole time I was with him, you know, life kind of made sense. Everything I was going through made sense, you know, I felt comfort knowing you hearing him tell me that he knew what was going on, this was okay, oh, that's normal, and it was a relief, you know. I swear I walked out 10 pounds lighter just from all this stress and worry and questioning that I had on my shoulders. And that was, that was absolutely amazing. And I was gracious enough to be able to see him the next year after, and we are, trying to hopefully see him again um, within the year and I know it's something that not all patients are lucky enough to experience but it's something that I feel like sharing and it's something that I'm proud to say that I found someone who you know answered all my questions and I still can call and say this is going on I don't know what it is what do I do and the nurses there are super helpful so that was I guess five years in a bundle you go from the low of lows to the high of highs and I think that's what pot does to your life it can bring you right down to the point where you don't think you can get brought down any lower and then it can change your world for the better. It can inspire you like it has me to put my story out and you know to just tell a story that there is there's there's strength in the world even though you might not think it. So well that's my <laughs> what's in my head. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching. Please like, maybe subscribe. Bye.